Hey, what's up, guys? And thanks for joining in today for Trapa History, sponsored by Indian Motorcycles and Law Tigers. Um, we have a, a pretty cool show today. Sorry, let me turn my phone this way. Uh, we have a pretty cool show today. So I am in Kansas, um, just a little bit outside of Augusta. And I'm at Bill Page's Personal Museum. This is pretty cool, um, and I wanted to share this. I was supposed to kind of be gone already, but we decided to stay a little bit longer. Tom Banks and I are out chasing motorcycles. So we really wanted to share this with you. Um, so we're gonna kind of get right to it. If any of you guys have any questions, I'm gonna try to check the comments constantly. So if you have any questions about a bike or want us to look back at it, um, there's a lot of really cool stuff here, cool memorabilia cool collections among collections. Um, so if there's anything you guys want to see, just let me know. Um, okay, so let me uh, see how I can change this view so that you guys can see the motorcycles. Okay. All right. So Tom and Bill. Hello. All right, so Bill, you want to... Um, we can kind of sat over here so as you guys can see all the cool stuff quick but so i noticed this bike over here and those that know me know that i love fxis so he's got an 82 shovel head over here um i see another shovel head yeah that's yep. not, this is my shovel head row it's a 79 the next one's a 79 80 inch shovel and uh, the next one's a little bobber it's a 73 shovel, one of my early bikes that I built years ago. And then uh, my uh, chopper shovel that I rode thousands of miles across the country with. And that's a, actually, it's a 75. It was built in 1975, painted in 1975, and has not been changed. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, let me get in that a sugar bear front end. How about this big sign that says eat? That is so cool. Did you get that? That, that came from a little town along the Mississippi, Keokuk, Iowa. And Kathy and I, we every time we, we travel, and we were driving in this, in this it was on an old restaurant that was closed, and I immediately seen it and loved it. I slammed on the brakes, started going around the block and knocking <laughs> on all the adjacent business doors till I found somebody that knew something about it. Got a hold of the owner and I bought it right then and there. Came back a couple of weeks later and took it down. That's so cool. Obviously, it was on the side of a building. Yes, it was. And now all this, tell me about all this wood and, and the corrugated steel and everything. Of course, our business, Billy and I's business, so barn guys, we build barns and we tear down a lot of old barns. So all the interior decorating that we did in here was from materials from the early 1900s from old barns that we had torn down. That's so cool. It's cool that this is all real. I like that buddy seat with the fringe. Yeah. Is that on a pan head? It was, it was on a shovel head. Shovel head? Looks like that era. How about this Servi car? Tell Servi us about car it. Is a, uh, 1958. Would you call it a box car or this, Servi car? Servi car. Yeah. It was a, uh, a police uh, unit that came from Great Bend, Kansas. Okay, he has a collection among collections. Old thermoses. Yeah, I'm crazy about coffee. 50s, 1950s era coffee thermoses. The mid-sized ones are kind of hard to find, but every time we go to a junk store or something, that's one of the one things that's on our target all the time. So are those the mid-size, like on that one right next to the 10? Yes. Going with the 10 sticker? Yeah. Yeah, that is a cool size. Yeah. And lanterns? The lanterns are all cool. Yeah, they're... I just like to find unique, unique old stuff that fits the era. So another 45, I mean, um, WL. that's a 48 WL. 
and then the 45, 45 that I rode in the chase um, uh, last year. Um, is this the one that Billy's going to ride? No. Okay, Billy's going to ride a 1931 deal, the gold black one. That beautiful thing. It is. I like that paint job, that patina. That one came out of the barn, 36 BLH. We did a mechanical restoration on it. Didn't have any fenders on it, so we kind of patinaed some fenders, but the tank is all original. That's cool. That is way cool. And now you ride all these, correct? All, all of them. Try to make it rip at least you know, a couple times in the year. Yeah, keep them. It is. That's my favorite bike, probably. This one? 39. Uh, Big Flatty. It's a 39U. I rode it on the first chase. I love that bike. Um, what makes it your favorite? Because it's. It's comfortable, it's dependable, easy to start, and it very rarely gives you any trouble. They are smooth. Smooth. Yeah. Big Flatties are. What about this one? Tell us about this one. Uh, that one, our friend Gerald James down in Oklahoma uh, got a hold of Kelly and I and got, brought him into his museum in boxes. And it, that's a 29JDH that has the wrong right side case on it as of now. But we do have the correct case that goes on it. Oh, this is the one that you showed, showed us the case. Yeah. So we're going to restore that one. I kind of bolted it together to see where we is at and parts out of the boxes. It's going to be a cool bike, but it's a 29 JDH. So two cam that they only made 28, 29. Did you get this out of a local bond? Pardon me? Did you get it local? No, it came from Oklahoma. Oh, close enough. Close enough, yeah. All right, how about this one? This one's really cool. Yeah, those are it's a W Sport. They were made from the 1919 to 1923. Harley kind of tried to do the, a, a version of a smaller, lighter bike. They have uh, the flat or horizontal cylinders that come out the front and the back. That was a 1920 model. It's an all original bike. The tanks uh, uh, were repainted. They had, we had to do some repairs on those, and there wasn't enough paint left to salvage. But the rest of the paint, the frame, and the handlebars, and all that was pretty much all original. Bike. They kind of run they're real quiet. They, they kind of, they didn't. I don't think they ever went off because they didn't sound like a Harley. They sound like a sewing machine. And the flywheels are on the outside. Yeah. Have you ridden it? Tom, what do you think of this one? <laughs> no, I, I've only ever seen one other one. I think I saw one at Meekum maybe five or six years ago. It's a, that's a really rare bike. Yeah, it's cool. This is my, uh, and I love to show people this, my first and original uh, jacket from the 70s. Really? Yeah. Uh, I still say I still wear it. Nice. <laughs> um, got my POW patch on it that we did back then. It's a little wore out. Boy, but, that's cool. But I still wear it. Yeah, it's got the wolf painted on back as when we was young, and so wolves only come out at night. So. <laughs> so you only wore your jacket at night. Yeah. <laughs> I think I learned that wear. Um, what about this big Holly sign? Did you get that local? I actually pulled that out of the dump. No way. Yes. With and the number one and everything? Yeah, we redid that. Even still? Yeah, a friend of ours owns a sign company. We found that sign. It was a, an old farm field dump. And uh, I was like, oh, man. So I went back, and then um, we got it, kind of restored it, and then the a friend that owns the sign company re repainted all the panels. Why? Funny what people throw away. 
Um, Betty Page, that was your aunt, right? That's my aunt, Betty. <laughs> Yeah. So, Tom, don't think about hitting on her. Wow. Yeah, that's family right there. Yeah. Well, actually, she had reached out to me about a date after she saw some video and that. So, we're talking. We'll see what that does. She's very attractive. <laughs> yeah. How about this knuckle? Um, that's a 47. Uh, I restored that about 10 years ago. Uh, and I kind of look back on it now and wish I wouldn't have restored it because it was... It was pretty, had a cool look to it, but it, uh, we decided that we would go ahead and make it, make it pretty. So, but I ride that quite a bit. I took it to Tennessee and the Tennessee jam and Tom let us have enough time off to go for a ride. One day. <laughs> <laughs> we actually did it like 100, yeah. 120 miles. Yeah, he's a slave driver, man. Well, so, we had to get them bikes out and well, get out. Yeah, we want to make sure he's going to bring home the trophy. Yeah. Can we go for a ride today, Tom? He said, I don't know. Are the bikes ready to go? We'll see. Yeah, maybe. He's fibbing a little bit. Yeah, I promise you. Um, this side is pretty cool. The J. Yeah, 1925. And um, the guy painted it this color. And I don't, I, and the story that I got on it, the, the old guy's name, the wife's name is Rose. So on the side part, I put a rose on there uh -huh. with the year of the body, 1925. So I don't have the heart to change it. Yeah, you can't. Why would you? Yeah. It runs really well, and I take the my grandkids I, for a ride. Yeah, I was going to ask yeah. you that. The neighbor women want to go for a ride. They come down, would you take <laughs> yeah, me for a ride? I'm like, okay. Yeah, but your grandkids must love it. You got some pan heads over here? 65 pan and a 68. Shovel. Blue, electric light and blue. Slap side. Slap side shovel. Yep. I like all the helmets yeah, and the tanks. Cool. Yeah. Super cool. I will be stealing a few of Bill's ideas for the museum. I know, Tom. You got, <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Makes me feel like a little inferior walking in here. No, it's just because you're just building it. It's just. It's a work in progress. To see it all laid out. It's just really Even cool. these cool wrenches. That, that set was really hard to find. I found, I didn't find them all together, but once you, those, the old curvy wrenches, once I had a couple of them, I was on a quest. <laughs> and every estate sale, I went yeah. through every box until I found a whole, a full set of them. That's cool. Yeah. Really like them. And then I. Uh, these came out of an original a barn that we tore down. This is the original cowbell. You can see how rusty it is, but yeah. it still works. And it was hanging in the rafters along with the branding iron. Wow. Homemade branding iron. Wow, so big age. That's cool. Yeah. So that actually came out of a working barn. Um, this might sound like a silly question, but why did they have bells on cows so they could find them? They yeah. got on a field? Yeah, they just let them roam. Yeah. All right, let's go to this bike. Yeah. All right, Tom, this is the coolest. Stuff. So about two years ago, or a year and a half ago, Bill and I started to have discussions about this bike. And the real deal was, is, you know, we wanted to have Jody on a single for the Cannonball on part of our banquet team. And I think at the end of the day, the, you know, the three of us, myself, Sean, and Jody want to be on singles. So long story short, Bill and I got a deal done on this beautiful single right here. Um, this is obviously a Bill Page build 100%, but uh, my friend Jody Perowitz is going to ride this bike in the next Cannonball, so we are going to have uh, coming for you, Dave Kerr. Yep. Three you know, singles. I don't think Jody Perowitz is a judge. She's coming right at you. I don't know about me. So I'm psyched. Here you guys see it. This is my Cannonball bike for the 2023 Cannonball. That is a Bill Page bike all the way. So this is a 1914 yeah. Holly Davidson single. Watch out. Really cool. We're oh, coming yeah. after you, baby. Oh, yeah. Come for you, Dave. You got some more cool ones. Out, True. We're breathing down your neck. Baby. Yeah, we're just going to push them a little bit more. <laughs> I 
And then what is this your cannonball room? Yeah, that's my cannonball room. Billy and I uh, love the cannonball. We've done three adventures together. The first uh, year I did it was in 2016, and uh, on my 15 single, Billy was my crew uh, crew chief. And then the next two cannonballs he rode. So we've got five of them together riding and. Uh, one that he worked with me. And, uh, so I just try to save the memory. Photos save the memory. They are cool memories. Yeah. Which cannonball did you like the best? Uh, I think probably the 2016 because it was my first one. And when you asked me about, when I said the 39 flat, it was my favorite bike. My yeah. second favorite bike. My second favorite is the 1915 single. Well, yeah, so you wrote a single. So how was it riding a single? Hard. You know, everybody said, well, you cheated because you had a transmission. But, you know, it's final ride was still final ride with three horsepower motors. So. True. Uh, three horsepower. It was fun. It was a fun bike. Challenging. Uh, um, but I wasn't going to change it for nothing. Almost made all the miles. I like the challenge. Yeah. Oh, I like this. This picture. That, uh, that so why don't you guys talk about Sons of Speed? Yeah. yeah, tell us about Sons of Speed. Tom, what are you riding on Sons of Speed? So I'm back on a 1924 Bill Page built, Holly Davidson single. Um, you know, right now we feel like we have the, the fastest single in the SOS. And, uh, you know, I know a lot of you guys out there, you want to come forward and, hey, man, we really would like to build bring that it class on. up. You know, <laughs> yeah, absolutely bring it on. Um, we'd love to build that class up. You know, I think that's the class that really needs to um, expand and make it a little bit more competitive for everybody. Um, you know, we have a team formed now where we're going to continue to stay with the Sons of Speed. We really, really enjoy the event. We think with Andy aboard, helping Billy, the United event can go to another level. So for us, it's really a great deal of excitement. So Sean and Kelsey are watching, and uh, he just commented the Holly Whisper. <laughs> that is the Holly Whisper. Make no mistake about it. Hey Sean, what's happening, man? Uh, yeah, I got your bike loaded up right now, Sean. Jody yep, we're fought, ready. Jody and I fought to get that thing on there, and the only problem is, is geez, I'd like to. You want to ride the single, Sean? I mean, just let me know. I'll ride that. Sean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Tom did fit pretty good on that bike. I mean. <laughs> They both were yeah. practicing on that bike last night. Yeah, we were. And they both we were. were on it. Yeah. And I told them, I said, get off that bike. That's Sean's bike. Sean, it looks like Bill's on your side. <laughs> he said, not a chance. <laughs> yeah, I figured that's right. I used to take it for a hot lap or two. Yeah. Maybe after the race. You know, so well, like yeah, let, let him at least win with it first. That's and then we'll see. You let me hot lap it afterwards. That yeah. That satisfy my yeah we might let you start it <laughs> yeah, right. the coolest addition i think is to the comp competition distributing team is that jody's going to be on jerry ottawa's dad's original 1930 board track racer in which he won the oklahoma state championships in 1930 it's a 45 inch bike jerry asked us if we could do something with that find a driver for it and we just said, I think we know the perfect driver for this bike. We just came from the museum. It's a beautiful bike. Yeah, which I'll post some pictures of it. I'm ecstatic. I'm honored that this bike was a championship bike in 1930. And here we are 92 years later that I'm going to try like hell to make it another champion because that would be so cool to say 92 years later. Oh, it's yeah. winning another trophy. So that's what I'll be riding in October at Sons of Speed. So we'll be... And the singles class, the twin, the board track class, and the 45 class. That's right. That's right. Yeah, the really antique excited. outlaws. We're going to be holding it down. We've got our main wrench, Mr. Bill. Yeah. Oh, that's why you should say, Bill, you got your work cut out for you. I'm, gonna, I'm, a, I'm soliciting help right now. <laughs> we'll have George, too, so we'll help. We'll have, we'll yeah, have George. George. Kids, so maybe um, George is good, though. Yeah, George will help us for sure. Um, we, we, we got quite the team we're building up right now. It's so much fun, man. I just looking so forward to it. Yeah, Sean says um, maybe I'll let him ride it. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. um, and Steve, 
uh, says Tom Banks has the cleanest, most unique Holly Museum with the best bathroom plumber. <laughs> <laughs> I take it that's your plumber. <laughs> um, how about this bike, Bill? That's a 1923 uh, Dave Curry or H.R. Yeah, <laughs> that, I hope Dave Curry is watching. I'm sure I'm calling him out a lot. <laughs> We're going to go back to being Dave up, huh? That's an original thing, uh, 23, original condition. The transmission was even slipped in backwards, but that's the way the bike was found. It was pulled out of the barn that way. Um, I'm going to do a mechanical uh, restoration on this bike only and just not this year though uh, got no we got sons of speeds to win we got, we got cannonballs got coming up yeah yeah sons of speed uh, this, this year on full but it's going to happen hard par which was painted on the tank a cool story about the if anybody's aware of oliver tractor company well before it became oliver tractor company it was hard par tractor company and the old gentleman that owned this bike had a hard part tractor dealership and he painted that on his tanks and they said this said in his in his tractor dealership wow that's cool the seat obviously didn't come on the bike but they didn't have a seat so i just stuck one on there and then another cannonball bike yes this was like 2018 cannonball bike uh, made every mile uh, and then some uh, it's a great running bike i love it a lot of fun tom got to ride it i love that arkansas. bike just love that bike so i rode that bike in the arkansas musket ball with my single wind south on me and i had an absolute blast in fact if it wasn't for the fact that it was bill's bike i think i'd have tried to pass billy going up over that mile <laughs> Billy's a good bass. I think I could. Oh, I think I smell another challenge. Well, I think Billy was holding on. Yeah. Like, Billy said he was holding back. Yeah. I, I don't know that I was full wick coming up the mine. You know, sometimes you really don't want to blow up the other guy's bike. You know, it's bad enough you blow up your own. So, but yeah, both of them are pretty fast. That's a great running bike. This is a, a 1919, pretty original bike uh, that I restored. Uh, came from Cole Deister. Uh, and uh, of course, it's got the carburetor up the right side. That's my thing. That's what That's I right. do. If you I like it, all these uh, valves that you always put. Yeah, I, I like to like modernize my fuel valves. I know fuel lines break too easy and they crack, and then the fittings leak. And I ride these bikes; they just don't set. So, hey, where's the um, trophy from Sons of Speed? Right here. Tom it. graciously gave this to me after the he won the first race. And, uh, oh, right there! I didn't even see it. And, um, so it's in the it's in the trophy room for sure. Twenty two. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tom's trophy. <laughs> I like these um drive-in movie theater speakers. My dad and I have painted a couple of those. Yeah, yeah for yeah, somebody that like collects that kind of stuff. How about the Fort Madison Spirit sign? I think my bike said the VLD came out of Fort Madison. Is that in Iowa? Yes. Yeah, that's where my VLD came out of. Yeah, she showed me it was in Fort Madison and it meant nothing to me because yeah. I don't know where Fort Madison was. What a small world. Yeah, it was on a winter store there. It's a two sided sign. And once again, uh, it was set out inside the whole gym. Um, I think it reworked just slightly better than what it was in the winter. Yeah, it is. I'm not a real big on sign, but some, I just like it that are unique and different. Hey, can you ride a unicycle? I used to be able to, but I can't no more. I'm not going to try. <laughs> <laughs> That's Remember exactly when that. Alex That's rode the exactly unicycle? Yes. I know. I know yes. Yes. Like, can you get it down, yeah. Joe? And Alex did. He did. He took a good digger. Yeah, but yeah, but he he got back up on it and he rode it pretty good. Yeah. 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 I don't know what else the uh, my first custom motorcycle ever is my '65 Triumph. 
Oh yeah, that's a good picture. Yeah. That was back in the early 70s. Uh, <laughs> I made that bike everywhere. Is this a bike that you built too? Yeah. Yeah, it's a shovel, uh, a custom shovel that we built. And I uh, used to show it back in the 70s. And Billy, I uh, sold it in the 80s. Uh, and Billy has, in the last three or four years, has been trying to find that bike back for me. Yeah, so if any of you listeners have ever seen this, We always wonder where all the old choppers went. Yeah. My dad's always, because he hunts like his old bikes too. I uh, always have everything that I collect has got some sort of meaning for me. My father both passed away. My father passed away when I was younger, a lot of years ago. But he worked for the phone company. And that was his hard hat that he wore. Oh, you know, I saw that and I was going to ask you what. Some the significance. significance of that and the phones that he used to work on there. Uh, so I have those together and with my mother and she owned a gift store called D and Company. Her nick her name was Dolores. Her, her nickname was D. And I saved that sign from that shop and those those two have That's cool. Yeah. All this old wood is really neat too. Nah, we've been blessed, man. We've been in two really cold places in the last two hours. It's incredible. Yeah, true. We were just at um, the Twisted Oz Museum. Nice. Yeah, really cool place. Really cool. Great place. Yeah. Did you see the, the, the emerald cheese and the yellow brick road? Oh, yeah, that of which we were just yeah. talking about that. He's pretty cool because we're in Kansas. Yeah. So it's like the male version of Dorothy. Yeah. The red, instead of red slippers, red shoes. Yeah, which on our way here, we Googled where actually Dorothy was, was from <laughs> in Kansas. But it never, we couldn't find no, it. They didn't make any headway on that. So yeah, they never, they must have never Dorothy's said. Dorothy's just from Kansas. Yeah, man, just it. in general. Yeah. Back then they didn't have towns apparently. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Suzuki DR650. Uh, oh, yeah. Doesn't kind of fit in here with everything, but. What are you going to do with it? Trans American Trail, baby. Oh, yeah. Ready right now. That's my goal for next year. And, uh, wow. I want to do the west, the eastern, our western half of the TAT, and uh, my friend Rodney Sterling and I are going to go uh, here in a couple of weeks, uh, first of August, to Colorado and do some practice trails with that, and kind of get ready. So that's why that's in here. Cool. Yeah. yeah very cool. All right, guys. So that's our show today for. Chopper History, brought to you by Indian Motorcycles and Law Tigers. Um, and you heard it. I will be riding an Indian motorcycle at the Sons of Speed races in October down in Daytona. So if you guys have planned on going to Biketoberfest, make sure you come out to the Sons of Speed races. And um, we'll be back next. Whoops, I'm trying to move opposite so you guys are in it too. <laughs> um, we'll be back next week for another episode of Chop History. Don't forget all you local guys, we have our first bike, our second bike night is July 20th, Wednesday, July 20th. So any of you local guys want to come out to it. Um, and then the Perrots Paint Show in Sturgis is on Wednesday, August 10th at the Iron Horse. So if you're in Sturgis, try to come on out to our paint show on Wednesday. Um, I'll say hi to a couple of people I see on here. Hey, D. Um, Tom D. Hey, D. What's up, D? Yeah. Um, number one. Mike Draco, Jeremy, Nancy. Nancy says hi to you too, Tom. Hey, Nancy. Um, Leslie Patton. Uh, Wink. Oh, hey, Wink. It was nice seeing you in um, Born Free. Obviously, Sean's watching. Craig Ferry. Uh, Oscar. Jeremiah. Milk. John Holloway, uh, Mike Woody. Let's see, you guys, th thank you guys always for tuning in and thanks for your comments and stuff. 
Um, but like I said, we'll be back next week. Thanks to Indian and Law Tigers for sponsoring Childhood History. All right, we'll catch you guys later. And thanks to Bill Page for letting us have a toy, his personal museum. All right, guys, we'll catch you later.